Well guys, heading down to get some gas right now, then we're heading up to Malone, it's a three hour drive. I'm gonna get there about a half an hour, 20 minutes before I need to be there to set up. Uh, probably camp St. Regis tonight. The car is overly packed, kind of haphazardly. I did it this morning because it was just raining last night. So, kind of last minute for me on that. These railroad tracks are something else. I gotta fix those. Alright guys, we're coming up on the Northway here pretty soon. Those individuals who want to be vaccinated or who have long COVID. That's another... Been a lot of this on this trip where these mountains have just been shrouded in clouds. We are by no means there yet. Right. Continue on US 9 North for two miles. Last time I was up here, we were heading to the right towards Elizabethtown. New York 73 West for 13 miles. Here we go. Let's get a shot of that, huh? Wow. Yep. This is Chapel Pond. It's beautiful. Now, normally this is just packed with cars, with people hiking in the mountains, but I think with the weather today, folks are staying away, and the fact that it's a Tuesday, you know, on a work week. Yep, it is a quiet, rainy day here in the valley. Not really the kind of day you want to spend in the woods hiking. All right, so my friend Uncle Ernie, he and I did the Lake Placid, uh, the uh, what is it, the Northville Lake Placid Trail, and uh, tell you what, it rained a lot during that hiking trip. Or those hiking trips, we split that up a bit, and uh, I think we spent a good deal of it in the rain. Probably about this time of year. Long time ago. Long, long, long time ago. Marcy Field right here. Yeah. We're not really seeing too much today, folks. Alright, I'm not going to stop, but there's one of my little favorite Stewart stops right there. I don't have time right now. I need to continue on. In quarter mile, slight left to stay on New York 73 West. I am fortunate because I get to sleep right here in the truck. I don't have to set up any tent. It's nice and dry in there. Continue on New York 73 West for 13 miles. Whoa, that's just crazy, huh? Yeah, not really the kind of day you want to be hiking. Oh man, 
there's somebody having a stand out there today. Flag man. That's got to be fun. Anything I want to be out in today. I'll tell you what, it's moments like this when you really appreciate modern technology. Alright, I was making good time, but now I've been sitting here for five minutes. Hopefully, this line is going to move along pretty soon. So I don't have to rush it when I get to the library. Is a beautiful spot. Uh, hopefully, no rocks come tumbling down the hill here. Done a lot of hiking in this area. I've been back in those those mountains there My, for miles and miles. All right, let's move it. I need to get to the library. We're still sitting here. I'm going to have one of these uh, Pro Meal on the go bars while I'm waiting. Really good, really healthy. Alright, here comes the traffic from the other way. That's a good thing. Ugh. It just cannot be too much fun to have to be out here today. Working on this. I bet you these guys just go home and peel their clothes off and probably sleep really, really well. Oh my god, this is a nightmare. I'm trying to build a road right here. That's how they do it. That's how they do it. One step at a time. You got a vision and you go for it. And it ain't easy. Wow. Yeah, not fun. You guys are working for their money today, that's for sure. That is for sure, sure, sure. Oh, we got another stoplight up here. Oh, to top things off, I think I need to go to the bathroom again. Well, right there's the Lake Placid Elementary School. I should be up here doing workshops. I'm going to have to get myself into the North Country School. So that's the next step. You know what? It's really busy right here. We are in the middle of the Adirondacks, and it's like a major intersection here. part of it. Oh, I remember the last time I came through here, the barbecue was hopping, it was prime time summer. The rain has subsided, but uh, now I'm on some nightmare detour twisty road, following Slowpoke up here. I'm having to go right through the thick of it. More than I bargained for today. I should have known. You gotta leave early. I never leave myself. I do always leave myself enough time. It's just, wow. Okay, now I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be wet camping tonight. Let's just get to Malone. Right now it says we're gonna be there at 12.03. That's fine. As long as it's just easy parking and easy unloading, should be good.
so this is 36 miles from uh, Malone. I believe we're in the town of Brighton right now. Well, we are now entering Malone, the outskirts of it. And it pretty much looks the same up here as it did the whole way up. Kids, we are within three and a half miles of the library. We should be there within seven minutes. Arriving at 12.01 now, so shaved off a couple minutes. I gotta pee. So it looks like a nice place right there. I'm gonna pull into the back and uh, okay. First thing I'm doing is using the freaking bathroom. All right, I'm just trying to pick up after today. It went really well. I had two fourth grade classes in here from the St. Joseph School. We wrote a song on the oceans of possibilities. Alright guys, the weather sucks uh, badly, but we're going to head towards St. Regis, that way maybe we'll be passing by some other campgrounds too that I could possibly check out. Uh, we're going to stop and get some food and whatnot because we don't have anything. And hopefully, I don't even know, I guess a fire is kind of a ridiculous idea. There has been no sun today. No sun whatsoever. That's all right though. We are enjoying our fire here. Got the campground all to ourselves, except for one other, one other guy, man. All right, so right now I'm hanging out up here with uh, my new friend, Duncan. We're hanging out, at, checking out this Check out this fireplace. We are under the pavilion. And Duncan is a regular here in our... Guess what, guys? There is a freaking wildcat over here in the woods. Because I am here when I'm hearing it regularly. I'm not making it up. There's a cat in the woods. 100%. So Duncan lives right down there in an old RV. And uh, he invited me up here for a fire, which I'm doing right now. And he'll be back in a little bit. And we're going to just chillax for a little bit together. Hang out. He's a Canadian. And from Prescott, Canada, Canada, <laughs> Canada, which is near uh, Ogdensburg, which is near Aquasasne, which is where I've been. But I am not kidding. I hear a wild cat out here, and I've heard it several times. It's not the first time, not the second time, but I've been hearing it pretty much since I've been here. And at first, I thought it was like, am I hearing things? But I don't think I'm hearing things anymore. It's real. Check this view out though. Here we are. There is absolutely nobody here except for me, Duncan, and his girlfriend. Nobody else is in this campground. The entire place is uh, occupied by three people. Three people, folks. Three people. Yep, I love it up here. This is awesome. Well, 
Well, we are heading to Saranac Lake Library. Uh, I had something really strange happen just a little bit ago with my truck. I pulled up to pay and uh, it just locked right up on me big time. Like, the brakes were on. And I tried to go forward a couple times. I could get about a wheel turn around and it would lock up again. I went backwards. It would lock up that way. Uh, I did it about four or five times and then I hope to God it's done. I don't need to lock it up on me at 55 miles an hour. Anyway, I'm a long ways from anywhere right now. Uh, I do not need any car problems today. Also, just because I have all these gigs I gotta do, you know, and I need... I need to make that money. So, very important, Henry, that you hang in there, brother. I need you, big time. Saranac Lake on a This little park here is always busy busy little town. Found a Dunkin' Donuts and I'm having an egg and cheese and turkey sausage, bagel, and a coffee. And I got about 20 minutes before I need to be at the library. Found a squirrel down the street here. This is a uh, Saranac Lake, guys. 600 feet. Turn left onto River Street. At our destination. And I got a spot right up front. All right, this is what I sometimes do. I'm parked out in front of the library here. I'm just waiting for it to open up. I like these streets around this town. This is definitely cool, the way it's set up. All right, guys, as far as a wildcat goes, turns out, turns out I had to get my ears cleaned. Yep, that was the wildcat, right in my ears. And my back brakes, I had to get them replaced, the whole deal. You know, everything but the cylinder. But everything's good, guys, so uh, peace, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Yeehaw!